How's it going, guys? We are back. We are back at PXG here in Dallas. We're going to go through a full bag fitting. Here at PXG Dallas, we have a wide range of different putter styles um, and different necks, different lengths, different grips. Um, so you can truly come in, uh, get with a scheduled appointment, see which putter works best for you on TrackMan and with one of our fitting specialists. All right, so I typically like the pistol grips. So we've got three different pistol grips here. Pistol grip, pistol one, two, and three. And I'm guessing it's just going to be thickness and... Yep. Yeah, all thickness here with the, the different styles. But okay. um, a lot of people love the pistol. Uh, the pistol one's going to be kind of your traditional. Right. And then as you get a little bit bigger, um, you'll, you'll go up in size. Yeah. I kind of like that pistol two there. I actually kind of like this one. So it feels like this one's got a more rounded back and this that one's looks... a more flat back. Yeah. If you can see that, guys. A little bit rounded on the back here and this one's a more flat on both sides. I, I tend to like that flat on both sides because it kind of feels like a, a you know a, a nice plane to keep your yeah, and, face. And, and grip is all what you like. So, you know, if, if it's good in your hands, that's what's most important. Um, and obviously if we go a little bit bigger in size, hopefully less face rotation. Yep, I like it. Let's All go right, with awesome. So we're gonna go with the pistol three, which is the yep. biggest of the pistol grips. Absolutely. I haven't even really started the fitting. Uh, I'm just gonna put them at 35 inches on the putter. We'll start there um, and then work our way through the fitting to see what works best for them. We talked about what my gamer putter is right now. And right now I have a Scotty Cameron Phantom. So we got the putter that looks similar to that. Same type of shaft, which is the double bend is what I usually have and then 35 inches is what I usually have as well. So we're gonna start there and then we'll work our way whatever way we need to to get the right putter for me and my game. So here we're gonna have the Battle Ready 2 PXG Bat Attack. Uh, like you said, with a double bend and then we're at 35 inches. Uh, I don't know if you can see here, but we can go all the way up to 37, 38 on a putter, all the way down to 32 inches on a putter. So we can fit a very wide variety of uh you know golfers which is always what everyone's looking for all right let's see what we got so right off the bat feels just a little bit heavier than what i have awesome but i believe yeah we've got weights on this one that we can yeah probably so adjust. right there is just your standard kind of battle ready to bat attack setup um but we can make those modifications For the most part, Brian, I mean, you you have a very straight back and straight through stroke. Right. Um, a couple of those, you had maybe a slightly um, outside arc. Okay. Um, so, you know, I think there's two neck styles that I would just off the first couple of putts that we were looking at. Right. I would be saying double bend, which is what you're using right now. But I also would give a uh, try in, in the plumber's neck. Okay. Okay. Um, face balance versus toe hang, all that. But this is going to be more of a face balanced uh, putter. And kind of what probably you're used to. Okay. So what I like to do is always start with getting the neck down. Right. Once we get that down, trying some different putter heads, making sure, you know, like I said, toe hang or face balance, whatever you more prefer. Right. We'll take a look at that through the fitting. Uh, and then we make modifications with the track man with loft or lock. Okay. So it's a one-stop shop for all PXG putters, really PXG everything. But um, we're able to change putters in and out two, three minutes and get, get you back in your fitting. So, and looks wise, right? This is going to have more toe hang. So looks wise, does it f look better to you? Um, to your natural eye? It just, can't decide. It looks, I don't know if I'd say better. It's different. Okay. consistently missing right and then additionally right now you got about right to your top of your palm here you got probably another half inch or so right um we can go down maybe. I'm, I'm thinking about going down i said 35 it may be 34 and a half yeah i in my opinion it's gonna be anywhere from 34 and a half to that 35 number yeah my, my comfort as far as is probably right in there so that's... now now this is a question that i have a lot for really every customer is 
just because I I shorten it, will you still choke down on it no matter what? I don't know. I don't okay. think so. Okay, let's try it. Yeah. Okay, so got so, the plumber's neck this time. We went down to a 34, which feels good. Good. Is so it 34 or 34 and a half? It's Ray at 34 and a half. Okay, 34 and a half. Sorry, guys. So let's see. That looked better. I know that did not go in. People, there's still good putts are not always go in. So. Yeah. Okay, this is a, basically a left edge putt here. Yeah. And then it's. <laughs> a little less speed, drips it in the front edge. Personally, where I see your stroke right now, yeah, I would put you more in the plumber's neck. Okay, which is okay. this one? Which is that one, yes. Okay. Um, based off stroke kind of tendencies, you're slightly on the mid arcing, slightly inside, right. which- My tendency, yeah. I don't know which which neck or if that's even a thing, my tendency is to be too outside to in. Yeah, but this would still fit with that. Okay, because um, the last putter I had was a center shaft and that's, that's a big problem yeah. I had with that. Starting to break a little bit. This putt's really moving. I, mean, I know it really is. And then you put it out there left and it doesn't come back. They set me up an impossible putt. <laughs> Do you want to flip it around? What, come back this way? Yeah. We can, yeah. doesn't matter. Just make me look better? Yes. <laughs> Just for because you're used to a double bend. Yeah. I know my natural eye is looking at this and saying, hey, you should probably be in a plumber's neck. But there is there is a thing of, you know, feel and what you like to look at. Right. So I'm going to put you back in a plumber's neck just to try it one more time. That's fine. Sorry, I just walked off with the putter. You're all good. We went back to the double bend with the 34 and a half just to see what we're at. Because we didn't try it with the 34 and a half. So I want to see, you know, is this more, you know, comfortable to you? Right. really good butt. Yeah, that one was, felt good. I will say, over the last probably 10, 15 putts, you're starting to take it more straight back and straight through. Yeah. It's good, really good. Consistency's there now. That might be short. Okay, now, Talk to me about this for a second, because, yep. you know, you're a good player, right? So your stroke may be a little bit inside or maybe a little outside coming in, but for the majority of the part, when you hit it your best, you're straight back and straight through. Right. That fits that neck. Okay. So I would tell you, hey, now that I've seen your kind of tendencies, I would tell you to go with this because overall, if you are missing a little bit, this is still the neck for you because when you hit a perfect putt, you're right. straight back and straight through. For sure. Um, now talk to me. Weight wise, that putter, how does that feel? It feels good. Feels good. Yeah, okay. I like the weight. Um, I did want to, you know, try a few heads. Yeah. Let's, did, do you want to try the? Let's try the blade. Often. Okay. Blade. Yeah. Yep. So, what we're trying here is the closer. It's a little bit of a thicker blade option, kind of maybe that, maybe half mallet. Some people would consider that. Right. But, it's a little bit thicker on the back here. Yep. So most blades, this long, this piece here, would be a little shorter. So. See how this one, I love the look of it. That's one thing we were just discussing is you have to be confident in the look. A little bit firm on that one. Picture perfect there. Yep, that was a good, this feels really good. I like this blade kind of look, but a little bit thicker. Put it out there just a little bit too far. Now, this is where as a fitter, from a feedback spec, right, we can look at loft, live, length. Right, But because I can hear I, it skipping I, just a little bit and that's something we can adjust. Yes, as the, like, 
what do you like versus this putter versus the bad attack and where you maybe you like the bad attack more kind of give me some feedback of what you do and don't like just just the look of this one mm -hmm. this one doesn't have the dot on top yeah which i don't know i, I it's just a look thing again for sure you have to be confident in what you like so the knot it doesn't have a dot on top as you can see so that may be something it's just the look of it the dot on top of the bad attack was just throwing me off personally sure. yeah this uh, is more traditional right this is more traditional it's got the look of a blade but it's a little bit thicker um weight wise it's a little lighter yeah and it's just i'm Sorry. finding the center of the club face feels like every single putt is right in the center love it so it seems to be fitting with my stroke really well so okay right now i think we both agree we like this neck right we like this you like this head style i have no problem for it as you make you know a couple different ones in a row which is awesome so we got the length down we got the grip down we got the shaft down we might have the winner putter here yep there's one putter i really want you to try and the reason why i want you to try this is it is our battle ready to apache and the reason why is it's 66 percent more forgiving than a traditional blade okay now this isn't a traditional blade right but it's a different uh style that I, I think all amateurs should at least try for sure let's okay. try it so this is the battle ready to apache um the reason why i want him to try this here is there's a great alignment feature on this putter that if you use a line on your golf ball it's very easy to connect with the putter and then it's just really just making the best stroke possible uh for your game sweet let's give this here now obviously this is way bigger than what i um just hit yes but not totally too, different style yeah so but the biggest thing is the 66% more forgiving. So if I do happen to hit it, it's a little bit off the heel or off the toe. It's going to come out a little straighter. It seems to work. My problem there was with it being as big as it is, my thought process was I need to hit it a little softer because yeah. it's heavier, but it's really not heavy. There's a lot of mass behind it, but yeah, it's just redistributed differently. It's awesome. Yeah, it feels really good. Um, if I'm being honest, it's a yeah. little big for yeah. my liking. For sure. But as far as feel and mm -hmm. everything, more or less, it's this, coming off, I mean, perfect. In this putter, I just really. Can you feel the forgiveness? In the yeah, I can. I, I, that one I just hit off the heel and it was dead. It was center cut. Awesome. So let's do this now. Now that we know we like the closer, let's right. put you on the track, man. Let's see if there needs to be any modifications from a from a uh, skid distance uh, off the get go of your putter. For sure. Awesome. As doing a putter fitting, the biggest thing for me, like I said, is skid distance. This is where it's going to tell me if we need to make any loft changes. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to just. Hit your traditional putt, and we're going to go to that left cup there. Okay. Hold that one just a little bit. But... Yeah, you see that? Yeah, that one skipped. The other two so, didn't feel like it did. So... Hit one more for me. Okay. Heard that one. Okay. So let's take a look at these three, four putts here. So when we first, that first putt, you started out at 46 on skid distance. So that's telling me the first 46 inches of your putt, that ball is moving. Oh, wow. Okay. So 36, that's better. Okay. Much better. Back to 45 back to 40. So on average, you're right around that 40-ish number. Right. Let's get distance 38 on that one. There we go, 36, much okay. better. It's getting there. What is the ideal? I'd love to keep it around 30 or 35. Okay. So we definitely inch closer to that. Yeah. What I would do, and so, like I saw with my natural eye, that one was 30. Yeah, that so would look good. I, I would say this, 
we started getting better with our skid distance as the fitting went on. Yep. I would say start with this. If we ever need to tweak it, I can always bend it here with a little bit more loft. Okay. Let's see a couple more here. Thirty on that one. Yeah, I, yeah. I feel like I've also slowed down my stroke a little bit, which is yeah. probably helping. That one might be a little higher. 37. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, it's, feels good. All right, guys, so we're gonna stick with, what is the standard loft on this one? About three degrees. Three degrees. The Closer Battle Ready 2. Is it coming now? The double bend shaft with the pistol three grip. All right, guys, we're set. This is for the Tour 1 head, which is gonna be a little bit lower spin. We got an eight degree right now. We knew that we liked two shafts in the very end there. The Graphite Design XC6 and the Aldila NV Green. 65X. 65, yep. yep. So we're gonna see which one of these fits best with the Tour 1 head because we think the Tour 1 head is gonna be better for me because I spin it a little more. This is so low spinning that we were talking about it that we may have to go up in loft, which is crazy for me because usually I go down in loft trying to get as much spin down as I can. So we're starting just standard at eight right now? Yeah, standard okay. eight. And I, I just want to say one thing is this driver is completely, completely different than any other driver we've made, and even from the just original Black Ops. Um, so this is a special driver, really, really is. Um, I'm very, very excited for him to get fit for it. Um, I think he's gonna fall in love with it. Yeah. I'd really encourage Excellent. a lot of you to go try and get fit at your local PXG stores um, and give this a try. For sure. So right now we have the weight in the back, yep. which is gonna increase MOI, right? In yeah, increase MOI, um, you know, spin. Uh, on a traditional driver, I would never put start you there. Right. Uh, but I want you to experience what this driver's engineered all about. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's do it. Let's do it. So right off the bat, the head is just a little bit smaller than the original Black Ops that we did, which is a little more comfortable for me. It's more close than what I have in the bag. So let's see what we got. All right, so 2,500 spin, 277 carry, 297 total. Attack angle 4.8, which is a little up, mm -hmm. but Ball speed 160 right off the bat. Yeah, and then, like first said, swing. This is just the stock setup uh, weight wise. I always like to start the fits here, and then we'll move through it. That one I had to face open, but felt really good. So that that type of miss there. Yeah. Traditionally, I would say that's probably closer to 4,000 yeah. RPMs, and only two, 30, 20, 32. 32 there. Yeah. Bad there. 280 carry, 12 launch, 1900 spin at 310. Yeah. 1900 spin. I haven't seen that maybe ever. <laughs> <clears throat> Love that. Again, a little left, but that's typical with the draw. It's hard to hit a push yeah. draw. What I want to do is we're at 2700 RPMs of spin. I've seen enough now to move uh, you down and uh, a little bit of weight okay we're gonna redistribute here all right so what we've done here with weighting um, is we've traditionally 12 and a half is in the back here and then two and a half up front but every fits different so what we've done is we've done seven and a half here in the toe seven and a half in the heel and two and a half in the back um, let's see what this spin number does now yep let me tag this real quick yep that's sounding yeah, that's what we want right there. So you even you spun that a decent amount, but your ball speed, we haven't touched that. That was almost 169 ball speed. Holy crap. 283 carry, 303 total with that spin. Yeah, spin that was an attacking was still a little bit high yeah. what I want. But I mean 168 ball speed, 168 and a half. It's really good. One sixty six ball speed. I 
nothing wrong with that. 167 and a half ball speed, 2100 spin, 288 carry, 315, 316 total, mm -hmm. 149 smash. And like I said, we didn't touch like 168 ball speed with Black Ops originally. No, we were 166 ish. Every maybe. driver is different for every golfer. Doesn't mean Black Ops is, uh, it's still a great driver, but this right. is more of a driver suited for him. Spin might be really low. 165, 287, 309, 2300 spin. It's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty high ball speed. Yeah, I mean, it's... I mean, 160, 163 is usually my gaming speed, and I feel like I'm not even warm, really. Yet. Yeah. It's going to be left, but I smoked it. 165. 1600 spin. I mean, like I said, I've more importantly talk about feel. It feels sound. really good. I like the sounds a little more high pitched, a little more solid. Yeah, I felt that. Yeah, I pulled that one. I felt it. I kind of pulled back a little bit. All right. Your your ideal fit, honestly. It might be a nine lofted down. Oh, to an eight to open the club. Yeah, you want to try that next? I think, I think so. Yeah, because I think my miss is not right right now. It's left. Another thing we did last time is we flattened. Yeah, agreed, agreed. We because uh, you said these are typically a little upright, and that's and that's what we could do with it, and then we don't have to change a loft. Mm. It's up to you. Let's do. Let's stick with the eight for now because Thanks. the reason why is let's try it with this shaft now okay. and see what that does. Yep. But I mean, the miss is left again. I, if the driver's upright, it's gonna my miss is gonna be left. So we may flatten it out after we try this NV green. Want to try that? So is it so, still upright? Uh, this still standard setting okay. NV green sixty five X. All right. So this is the other shaft. Let's see what we got. This one. Feels a little lighter to me, but let's see what we got. That was low off the face. Not a bad miss, though. <laughs> little, little, little bottom. Ends up face. there because I hit it so far low on the face. But. But that kind of speaks to forgiveness with this driver as yeah. well. The Healy? Wow. Yeah. Felt okay. A little bit toe, maybe. Yeah, not bad numbers at all. I mean, 163, 290 carry, 307. I think it was a little bit off the toe, maybe. <clears throat> Pulled it a little bit. Not a bad ball flight. Hit two or three more. Okay. Just feels like the face control is. I'm gonna have a. There. I, I definitely have a comment, and I'm gonna wait till you're done. Okay. I mean, these numbers are good, but they're not. Yeah. What the other one just was. That one felt good. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna stop there. Okay. And yes, I well, last time these were a lot closer of a decision, mm -hmm. right? We had a hard time kind of deciding which one was best. XC is no doubt better right now. Yeah. Okay. And when we look at it from a distance perspective, you're seven yards farther, better with XC. You're ten yards, eleven yards better of total distance because your spins down. Um, Club and, speed is up. Yeah, too. everything's up. I mean, ball speeds, which is the driving factor, is up four miles an hour. Right now, it's definitely the XC. Yeah, okay? smash is one four eight with the XC, one four six with the NV green. Look at it from a dispersion factor. Those are your misses. Yeah. With the uh, XC. Now this is the NV. Yeah. Much wider, course. right? We, yeah. Which we don't want. So we 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 are getting better in distance, but more importantly, we're getting better in dispersion. There's one little fine tuning adjustment that I want to do with the driver, and I just want to see what flat does for you. Okay. All right, guys. So we got, again, tour one head. We went back to the XC6. 
and we flattened the lie on the driver. See if it's gonna straighten it out just a little bit. Now, if we start to miss a little right, then there's another thing we could do. We could put it back and then go to a nine and loft it down. We can do a little bunch of stuff. Well, let's see where we're at here. That was a little low on the face. No. All right, so now this is right, which we don't want, but might be me. So that one was 166 ball speed, a little more spin. Still attacking those. Now, way when we go more flat, like you said, it's going to move it more right with potentially right. more spin. Personally, Brian, I've seen enough. Yeah, that's, I was trying to draw. Yeah, I, I, I think you keep it at standard. Okay. okay. Keep it at standard. I think you're in a good spot. Um, and the other cool part that, like I, I've always said with PXG, if we ever need to come back in here and fine tune, fine -tune. we can always fine tune. Yep. We have a thing called a spec check. We'll take, you know, come back in maybe a couple months after you've played with the clubs, take a look at it, see what uh, where your swing's at, and make those appropriate changes. Okay. So think we're good then? Yeah, I do. The big change in this driver is really up in the weight. Yep. Okay. Like I said in the beginning, standard weight is 12 and a half in the back, two and a half up here. For Brian and his swing, we need to have seven and a half up front that's going to lower uh, launch, lower spin. I think this is going to be the best driver uh, out there for you. Yep. 0311 Black Ops Tour 1, 8 degree with the Tour AD Graphite Design XC6 Extra Stiff Shaft. Super pump. Can't wait to get it in and put it in the bag. Let's go. Awesome. All right, guys. We're going to start with the woods now. We got the three wood, 15 degrees, 0311. Uh, we've got the standard weighting right now. Shaft we're going to go with is Graphite the... Graphite de Design TP7X. Okay. Um, great shaft. I want to get you to see how, how you, you launch it. In the right. fairway wood, off, especially what we're doing is testing off the ground. I want to see what he does that with like a, into a par five. Right. The look of this is, is just beautiful. Love that you can see the carbon fiber through it. Yeah. Just very good looking. All right. So three wood. So we were carrying a driver, like we said, about, about 275, 280. This should be around 260, I would think. Gapping wise, that's what we want it anyway. A little right, maybe? Yeah. yeah a little flary. Spinning. Yeah. A little low on the face. Good miss. Going from driver to this one, you gotta dial it in a little bit off the ground. That felt pretty good. Let's see where that goes. Yeah, so a little pull, but they're closer to that number. It was 255 there. Yep. Overcorrection. Yeah. Nice and high. <clears throat> Oof. Yeah, we're going to have to play with this one a little bit. A little bit all over the place right now. We might have to change some shafts here. Maybe some weighting, but... So I'm going to essentially open this face up. We're going to go down and loft. Um, and we're going to go to a stiffer shaft. Okay. And are these upright too? Yeah. Traditionally, all, 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 all PXG, I mean, not irons, but woods are all traditionally more upright. Yeah. So in this, in the TP, he was spinning it. Um, now, it might not have been the right weight setup, but we're going to go to something that's a little stiffer. Uh, it's the Ventus Black 7X. Obviously, it's well known all around the world, especially on the PGA Tour. Um, but also, we moved weight more forward, just like the driver. Um, and then we also have made this maybe into more of like a two wood, two and a half wood. Um, we loft it down to 13 and a half degrees from the standard 15. Okay. Still pretty high, but that's not a bad miss. A little bit left.
There it is. Yeah, there it is. 263, 287. 287 with the three wood. Good deck. A little high, spinny, but. You're moving that a little left. Yeah, that one was. Come on, Brian. Some of this is me, guys. Still not getting the distance, huh? Yeah, that was just not great contact on that one. Yeah. There you go. Like right there, you just hit that 158 ball speed. You just carry a 250, 262, like outside. I truly think this is a much farther shot. Yeah. Was awesome there yeah that one felt a little better this is the lowest spinning combination i have yeah this this should be fine i just it's me and i've got to find it Two fifty seven, two sixty. that's right in that wheelhouse yeah Spins there, but that's a more consistent ball flight than us two. I'm gonna start building up the next club. Yep. All right, so we got four hybrid. It's Adventus Blue, 9X. Yep. So theoretically, 230, probably? Yeah, I I, I think this this is more of a part five, you know, killer. Right. Get high. Two twenty six carry there. A little bit left. So is this upright also? Yep, this is a standard setting. Okay. That one felt pretty good. Let's see what that <laughs> Yeah. So there's a 217 carry. Two twenty two carry. We're pretty pretty darn close to that number. Yeah. Now, you know, when I look at it too is when we're looking at right, your seven iron, we'll stop here for a second. Is that yep. one eighty, right, carry? Your six iron is gonna be around one ninety, one ninety. One ninety, one ninety five. That five iron is gonna be around that two oh five, two ten number. Yeah. If this is at two twenty five, two twenty, I that's that's what we're looking for. Yeah. Um and I mean before that shot there. You're at 223. Yeah. Hit that one spawn lot. Spin down. Boom. That's lovely there. Okay. I'll make one small adjustment. It's really good numbers, really good spin. I just want to maybe get maybe just a little bit more uh, carry out of it. Carry out of it. Yeah. Okay. It's 
terrible there. Not really good. Let's see where that one goes. Just launch a little high. Yeah. Um, You see that? Like what did you lower it off? Yep. So it's at what now? Uh, twenty and a half. Twenty and a half. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, it sounded good. Yep. Two thirty. Bam. Yep. That one felt good. Nice little draw on it. But even that, 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 that was a little wipey. Yeah, it felt a little And that toe still held its ball speed at 146. Yeah. A little wipey again. Chunky maybe. there? A little bit, yeah. What I love is but, the dispersion. <laughs> yeah, that looks a lot better, dispersion wise. Keep try I think I'm going my attack angle. I feel like I'm hitting down on it too much. It needs to be more like a wood. Like that. Yep. How does this feel? I like this club for you. Yeah, this one, this, this, since we adjusted it this last yeah. time, it feels really good. Awesome. This is that club that if you need to hit it 230 carry, you can hit it 230 carry. I think if you need to hit it higher and maybe take a little off of it and spinning it at 215, 220, you can do yeah. that. I'm trying to hit a cut real quick. It's money. At 221 with a cut. It's awesome. A little fairway finder right there. I'll pull that one. That's the miss of the, trying to cut it and close the face just a little. Yeah, that's fine. Here we are. So this is what I would recommend for you in a hybrid. Yeah, there it is right there. This is anywhere going to be 220 club to 230. And outside, like I said, you're going to probably be a little bit farther. So we're going to do this instead of a five? Yes. Wood? Yes. Okay. 100%. Out of the rough, I think it's going to be more beneficial for you. Okay. Also, I think, you know, you can maybe hit that. I should do one other shot for me. Okay. I want you to hit, you hit, hit, hit that piercing draw, but I want it lower. Okay. Like you're, you're almost like a, like a 12 degrees of launch, 10 degrees of launch. Okay. Back of the stand. So what would be the setup then? We go from five iron to this or yes. four iron to this? Uh, I would go, I'd go, you're at driver, three wood, four hybrid, five iron, six iron, seven iron, eight iron, nine iron, pitching wedge, gap wedge, Sandwich. 54. Uh, 58. 58. Putter, one, Potter, short. one short. I keep the four iron in the back. Okay. Keep the that, four that's in the a, back. That's a, like a 24 degree, I think, yeah, right? Yeah, 24 be, degrees. And this would be 20 and a half. Yes. Okay. The low piercing draw, are you saying? Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. 151 ball speed, 10 launch, great spin number. 231, 245. That's that's the hybrid right there. Yeah, we'll take this that. This is perfect. That's right awesome. down the middle too. Took a little while to get there, but we moved more weight towards the for forward. We brought the uh, hosel setting down to 20 and a half. This is his new hybrid gamer. Yeah, for sure. I like. It. All right, guys. So we're gonna start with the iron fitting. We're gonna start with the one that I hit for my Black Ops driver fitting, uh, the 0317T. Let's take a look at that. I think you said Zach Johnson uses it. Yeah, this. Zach Johnson's played it. Um, it's it's a very good iron. It's, it stands for our tour iron. Um, it's it's a really really good. It has a little bit of that polymer in there. But um, if you're looking for a little bit of uh, forgiveness in a player's type iron, this is where you want to go in the tour head for sure. And then we're again starting out with what I have in my gamers right now, which is the Dynamic Gold X100 yes. shaft. <laughs> Not too shabby there. We'll take that. Have you even gotten warmed up at all? 
Not really. Oh god. Just hit a couple, just get loose. Good. In a in an iron, is there any like, hey, I have to have this? You know, is it a thin sole blade type? Uh, I've been used to kind of the blade type. Okay. Um, my gamers right now are the T100s. They're a little thicker. Yeah. I like them. But this one, I mean, again, it just feels good. I mean, if you can, this is what is ideal. Yeah. Right in the center of the club face. I mean. Right in the middle, looking good. Um, as you get warmed up to your speeds only increasing from 86 to 90. Right. The total, I mean, I'm, I, this is like my fifth shot. We got carry 179.8. 187 total with the seven iron. It's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. It does. It does. I mean, tire draws. Carry, carry, carry that 184. I mean, I ain't mad at it. Okay, keep hitting that. I'm going to grab one other iron for you. Okay. I mean, tight little draws, dispersion is going to be really good. I, I drew that one a little more than the other ones, but. So, I think this is a great iron for you. That one will put But I also want you to hit the CB. Okay. okay. Just to see a little more forgiveness. Yeah, so when I talked about, you know, we have polymer in our Gen 6 XP irons or P irons in very little, but in this iron as well. Okay. Now in the CB. There is no polymer in there. Okay. Yeah, it's just cavity back. Um, it's 100% milled. Let's hit this and see how you like that. Okay. Probably going to lose a touch of forgiveness. Okay. Um, and a little bit of distance. But like I said, we're looking for the right windows, you know, right shot shape, those type of things. Right. That shaft seems like it's probably going to be a fit, but we'll... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, from what I saw there, it's pretty good. <laughs> okay. We may not even have to mess with the shit. Might not. I'm going to have you hit probably Project X uh, just because it's a, it's a similar but different. Okay. All right, guys. So this one's going to be the Cavity Back 0311 CB. Very similar look, but obviously you can see a little bit of a cavity there. So let's see what we got. I actually play this iron. I love it. Yeah. Look, I mean, the look looks the same. It looks very similar. Good. What we're trying to do with these type of irons and all of them, no matter if you're playing a blade or, you know, game improvement iron, we want a sexy looking iron, but we want forgiveness behind it too. And even in this, you can feel that forgiveness. Yeah. First shot, 180.9, 188 total, dead center of the club face. Smash factor Nine. at 139. Yeah. Pretty good. Tight little draw. I mean, it, that's, that's what we want. It's awesome. <clears throat> so just out of curiosity, I want to see the workability. I'm going to try and hit yeah. a cut. Yeah, that's I'm not the best at hitting a cut, but okay. let's see what, if I wanted to try, if I could. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Nice little cut. Pretty workable there. So that's what I like to see in my irons. Like I typically will play just a straight shot or just a nice little draw like mm -hmm. I have been. But some shots, you know, require that. Let's hit another one. A little bit that's of a really cut. Good. In my opinion, <clears throat> I like the C B better for you. Okay. Okay. You're spinning a little bit uh, more and that, yes, you try to hit some fades there. So you're going to spin a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. But even before that, your spin number was higher than with the T. Which spin numbers on your irons is going to be stopping power. Yes. You want it to stop on the green. I don't want you carrying a, a 7 iron 180 and it's your total Releasing distance 10, is 195. 15, yeah. We don't want that. Yeah, so this one, that one was 181. 
total 189. And for that low a launch, for you to hit that maybe little puncher through the wind and to still get 6,000, it's almost 6,100 on spin, that's really good. Landing angle at 48 and height at 100, that's telling me you're hitting at your peak distance uh, height wise and it's coming down and giving you a good soft landing. Okay. I, I mean, I like both of them. They both feel really good. Ball speed's about two miles an hour faster with this club versus the tee. A little bit of an open face there. I felt that one, but still not a bad miss. Let's see if we were to hit a big hook, what happens? There we go. And just so you know, Brian, too, a lot of people think lie angle is where the club is at address. Right. If I fit you off at what you're at address, yeah, I tell you you need to go flat, but that's not it's, what we it's need. It's impact It's position. impact zone, exactly. Right. And, so, and I've been fitted one flat before, yeah, right. and I've gone back to standard yep. now because you, you, of, it's where should, I impact. It's all about impact. And I should. have a tendency to stand up a little bit through impact, mm -hmm. which obviously it works, but that's because that also straightens out my lie angle. Yeah. Because when I'm at here, I have my hands low, but then at an impact, I'm here. Exactly. So. It's all about impact zone. Right. A little bit of a push there. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I like the way this is feeling. Let me see if I can hit that little low draw. Low hook. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I like that I'm able to, to do whatever I want with it. And then come back and I'd love hit it. that. Truly, I, I would put you in this iron. Okay. Okay. Now let's try a shaft. Okay. Let's try a different shaft here. All right. So I'm going to put you in the Project X 6.5. Okay. Every person you talk to might say, this is stiffer than this. In my opinion, the Dynamic Old X100 is stiffer than the Project X 6.5. Okay. Okay. But that's why we come in and get fit. Right. Because you can try it here, see what works best for you, and then make the best decision for your golf game. For sure. Guys, if you like the fit, they fitted me up before I got in. Literally yeah. fitted me today. They're getting irons, woods, driver, wedges, putter, and outfit. This is from the Essentials Collection. Got the brand new polo, belt, pants, glove, hat, pullover, as you saw. All right, so this is the Project X65 here. Okay. Go ahead and try that. Let me tag this real quick. Yep. All right, guys, so we got the Project X65. Virtually the same shaft, just a different company, and we're gonna see how it affects spin numbers, ball flight. This is gonna be a lot of feel too. Okay, yeah, it feels. I wouldn't say stiffer, but it just feels more. I don't know the word. It's I can feels like I can manipulate the face a little better. I don't know. Higher, really, really good like. there. I like that. What was that total on that first swing? 178, so a little shorter, but that was the first swing. 183 like total, 6400 spin, 6400 like spin, pretty high too, wasn't it? 110, yeah, yeah. 110. which is nice and high and soft landing. Love it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It does feel like it's just a little higher again. Yeah, 113 there on height, 6,400 spin. We lost maybe a yard so far total, which is not a big deal. I don't. I would rather hit my seven iron 180 on the dot than you know 190. That one was right in the center of the club face. Let's see if that one turns over. A little draw. Yeah, look how high that is. Which height is okay. Yeah, I mean, your spin numbers jumped up big time. You're a degree higher. Right. A degree, or ball speed wise, a degree faster with this. Um, you're about the same distance, but you're having more, definitely more stopping power. And like I said, what I feel test in here, I yeah. do believe the X100 is a stiffer shaft. Right. So you, you might be getting a little bit more launch because of that, and that new, a little bit softer compared to. It. What I do, I will say is, look at this dispersion. Yeah, it's a little bit right biased, but 
This is where you were with the X100. And we have a much more, you know, a lot more shots with the X100. That's the X100? No, this is going to be the X100. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot the more Again, still right by us, but there's a little bit, a couple left, but yep. still. Yeah, let's keep it. Let's hit a few more here. It's a little low on the face. Let's see where that goes. Not a bad miss. No, not a bad miss at all. 176 there. Yeah, I felt that one close the face down just a hair. <clears throat> but again, we did that with the other one too. That one felt pretty good. Yeah. Now, Brian, feel-wise to you, which one feels better? Because in my honest opinion, these are two shafts that are very, very similar. Yeah, they are. It and you're feels a good enough player similar. to play either one. And when I, mean, I say these are so similar that you are within 0.4 ball speed of each other. Yeah. You're within 100, 140 RPMs of each other. Yeah. You're within two yards of each other. Um, stopping power, you're maybe, maybe overall, I think you're hitting a little higher with a little bit more spin on this shaft. Yep. Um, from a dispersion factor, those are your misses with the Project X 6.5. Right. These are your misses with the uh, X100. They're like almost identical. Almost identical. Right? But I would say that the blue, the, this one, is a little bit closer of a dispersion rate. Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit. And I think maybe just a touch, I mean, ever so slightly softer. Right. But I mean, both of them have been super consistent. I mean, I like the high ball flight. I typically yeah. hit it low. Okay, so do me this now. Right, we know we can hit it high with that shaft. Yep. I want to see if you can hit that low, lower draw. Okay. Might even be a yeah, just a little bit, but a little close the face up. But it's, that's definitely lower launch. But what there. I want to know there is okay, you can still you obviously carried it great there. Yeah, one ninety spin though. For most part, still pretty strong for a, a, a draw. Fifteen launch instead of what was it, eighteen? Yeah. Yeah, so on this one now, take just, I guess, don't close the face as much. All right, try and less of a draw. And that one, a little bit. Felt toey, which is gonna turn it over just a little. Here we go. Yep. Yeah, good. So, like, what I like to see this is, are you able to work the golf ball still? Yep. Yeah, great. Um, still getting your good carry. You can flight it under the wind if needed. It's hard. It's very hard to get it. people to hit it higher. Right. It's always easier to hit it lower. If yeah, for sure. And it, I, uh... Like Tiger's, Tiger Woods, he was always looking for more spin. Right. Love that. Love that right there. That's really good. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's really, really good. Again, 181 carry there, yeah. 14 launch. That one felt good. Let's see where that goes. Yeah. So I would tell you right now, I'd go with that. The reason just because of the higher spin, higher launch. A higher spin, higher launch. We can always flight it down if you need to. Yep. And look at it from dispersion. Those are your misses with 6.5. And some of those to the left were just us yep. messing around. Yep. And this is with the X100. It yeah. might be a hair tighter, but like I said, we were messing we're, around Yeah, we were hitting some hooks. Um, I like the 6.5 because you're getting a little bit more spin out of it. Mm -hmm. And like I said, guys, spin's not a bad thing in irons or wedges. We want to spin. Right. It's how we get the ball to stop on firm greens or, you know, in Texas. So now, all about. And obviously, this is with the PXG ball that I will be hitting. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, um, it's a great golf ball. Um, 338 dimples. A uh, urethane cover, three-layer golf ball. It's a great golf ball. Um, it's 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 a first one of many, I think, for PXG to come. Sweet. Okay, so yeah, I think we're I think we're gonna yeah. go with the Project X 65, um, and we're gonna go with the cavity back. Yep. So zero three seventeen CB cavity back PXG with the Project X 
six five shaft. And what I what I said was, you know, where he's at standard length, standard loft. Um, and I brought up the lie part is, you know, if somebody was looking at uh, Brian from a just a, a dress situation, yeah, they put him in flat. But my hands not, are a little low in a dress, which puts the toe up of the club. But that's not what's what's important. All right, guys, last little bit here. We got the sugar daddy wedges. We got a fifty degree. C grind. We're going to see what this one's like. Right now, we're going to try the Elevate Tour Stiff Flex. We're going to see how that does as far as spin yeah. and launch and everything here. When the wedges, we will always want to be maybe something a, you know heavy, but touch softer, get a little bit more spin out of it. Right. Um, I do want to show you that on these clubs, the, the grooves go all the way up the toe here. You'll see a lot of companies they kind of cut that right there and there's no there's no grooves over here that'll help if you ever open up that club face for any shots or anything like that yeah and even in tough lies too it's it's very very beneficial well if you need to go toe down or something yep. exactly like, all sorts of stuff it's always good to have on your wedges so 50 degree typically right around 130 125 130 127 at 9,000 spin there, pretty solid. Yeah, that's about what we want. And it uh, sit and stuck. It was yep. 127 carry, 127.2. That was a little toey. Let's see what that does. Pretty straight. Lost my distance. Yeah, lost some distance there. thick there yeah. <clears throat> it felt pretty good <clears throat> 20 ish a little pushy but 20. Tell you what, really the feel good. of them. It's second to none, right? Yeah, it's just buttery. 121. Again, I'm a little tired, guys. This has been a long day. We fitted for literally everything, so I'm mostly concentrated on feel. 120 as far as speed. Or as far as distance is, I'm gonna it's do, consistent. I'm gonna do something fun here with it, right? We've yep. been, I want, I want, give me a 115 shot. Okay. 110 to 115. Okay, 105. Yeah, a little bit chunky too. Let's try it again. 110 to 115. Really good there, 118. <laughs> that should be it right there. 115 on the dot, yep. love it. <clears throat> Which to be honest, I don't ever hit really any full wedge shots. I like to love smooth. To, love hearing that. Like if I'm 130, I'm probably hitting a full choke down pitch and wedge. Okay. Now, personally, I, I would recommend still going with the Project X65s in your yep. wedges. Um, Same as my irons. Yeah, this is more testing, but um, 50, 54, and 58 in the Sugar Daddies. Yep. Um, the Sugar Daddy 2s. Um, but that full face, like Brian said, it is very crucial. Uh, I think every amateur golfer should be playing these. And the reason why is the more grooves are out on the toe, the more forgiving, easier to hit. Uh, consistent, but also a lot more spin around those greens in tight situations. For sure. All right. All right, guys, we're set. We're all set. We did it. We got yep. ran him through a full bag. He's going to be all PXG'd out. Yep. Um, Stay tuned. Yeah. We'll do a what's in the bag. Once I get everything in, we'll do a quick little what's in the bag with uh, all the new PXG gear. Love it. Awesome.